Hello, this is Justin Grover with Adobe Product Management, and I'm here to show you how to use the left rail in the analysis workspace. Uh, what I want to do is I want to show you how to find the dimensions, metrics, segments, and, and time ranges uh, that you're looking for. There's a couple different ways that you can, you can search for, the, for these things, and I want to show you how to do that. The first one you'll notice is that we put them all in the same list, so you can quickly search for something. For example, if I'm interested in, in anything that is related to search, like paid search, search engine, that kind of thing, I can, I can search for that. And it will give me all of the, all of the metrics, the dimensions, um, and, and everything related to that, or that has a, a, that search in it. Um, what I can also do is I can also click on, um, say, metrics. If I'm not quite sure what it's called, um, I can actually click on the item, and it will filter that list down for me so that I can browse through the complete list um, without fully knowing if, if something is called new visitors or users or, or something like that. Um, additionally, what we can also do is, is for things that can be created, um, you can click on the new button here and it will um, pull up a popover that will allow you to create either a new metric, a new segment, or a new time range. Um, lastly, one of the things that I want to show you is, is that there is the ability to filter. So if I hit the pound, it says, it says type pound add filters and tags. If I type pound, then I get this um, drop down that I can then go ahead and filter by things that have been approved by the admin, things that I've favorited, or any of the tags that are available. So if I go ahead and filter down to just things that are tagged with mobile, I get a filtered list, and I can then drag any of these onto the, onto the workspace and use them just like I would anything else.